am. It's my name Lucana in the house and welcome to our channel. So this is the third part of my pantry painting project and uh, this time I'm going to show you um, how to paint or maybe it's not how to paint but I'm gonna, just going to show you the, the paint that I'm using it, that I'm going to use it. It's uh, Benjamin Moore and uh, the uh, this one is really the best. I am um, highly recommended, though it's expensive, but it's really the best for me. Especially when you have kids at home, and they, they love to play the wall. You know when they play uh, the wall, like uh, running the cars on the wall. <laughs> this painting is the best. I have three times of like you know, you have like the the cheapest one. The cheapest one. I had that one before and. It's good, but it's really easy to to uh, get cheap. You know, like when you're moving some furniture and then you bump the wall, <laughs> it will kind of chip really easily. And the other one, I don't know. It's um, I'm I am new to 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 YouTube, so I just don't want to mention it. But those who love to paint. Uh, you know, if the cheapest one, if you will get that one. It's really easy to get cheap, but you know, it's, it's still gonna work. It's it's still good. But I had that one before, and I regretted getting it because I had I have my I have my three year old son, and he loved to he loved to play on the wall. So every time, oh my gosh, I had to you know repaint it again. So. I am planning to get a ben Benjamin Moore. Even this one is like expensive, like it's expensive and um, it's so worth it. So it's highly recommended. Benjamin Moore, Benjamin Moore is the best. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna also like uh, paint, repaint again my my living room because I just don't like it. Like everywhere had a chip on it, like. It's so sensitive the wall, but I use this one, the Benjamin Moore, to our living room, and it's really good. We move some furniture, it bump, and it didn't even, it didn't even like get chip. And even when I hang some stuff, you know, some some uh, painting, and uh, if you take it off, it didn't hurt the the wall. So this is the best. So let's get started. <clears throat> Ooh, I love the color. As I said, you're gonna start it. You have to start it with uh, um, Yeah, I could say in corner in my first video when I did the second. But it's the edge. Corner is the corner. <laughs> So that's what you do. I love, love the color. And you know when you when you use this paint, once you do it, you don't have to like apply really a lot. Not like the other one that I use it, I had to like do it and it's kinda a little bit a little bit like watery. But this one is really good. Just 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 so you know guys, this is the brush that I used on my second video, the, sec the, the part 2. I washed it off and I washed it off and dry it off and using it again. So, you know, and this is also the, this uh, roller that I use it, this thing. It's the same like what I used it on the first, the second video, you know, and I washed it off right away and it works really good. I'm gonna show you. I love this color. Did I say it many times? Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, mga gayam, after I finish that sides yesterday, this time I am working on the other sides. So, I put it back the switch cover, and this is the color of the wall. I really liked it. It's uh, pretty much uh, pretty much the same with our living room. So yeah, this one is kind of like a little bit uh, a lot of work for me because look how ugly the wall is. You can really see. You can really see like really peeled off or here or. That is. Look how ugly this is. <laughs> and then, so I put, I put the tape now to protect the borders. There you go. This time I'm using the, I'm using the white tape, but it's still the same, like the blue tape. And that is the, the this is. I removed this one because I cleaned it up first and uh, wanted to make that one nicer. This is for our um, the basement, our washing machine, washing machine and dryer in the basement. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna do for today. So stay where you are, and let's get the job done here, guys. so far so it's you know it's the fourth day today and uh, I already sanded out this one as you can see it remember the ugly wall here before it's really smooth now after putting the uh, compound all-purpose and sand it out and uh, now it's already dry so it's time to put the primer Here's my primer and let's, let's do this.
Gayam. So it's the fifth and last day today of my project. And I'm gonna finish all this one today. So let's get it started. done painting this room and it feels so good that I accomplished something again. So let's have a look the wall that used to be like rough looking there. It's totally done and thanks for that compound all purpose. And then look at it. Look how nice it is. Once I come here, oh my gosh, it feels so good. It's so homey. It's so it feels so nice that I accomplished something again. You know, that's why I love doing stuff like this because, you know, it's so satisfying. But anyway, um, this room, after after I clean it out and, um, you know, put, put some back together, you know, I noticed that the borders of the doors, it's kind of like it has a stain on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like I'm not... I am not, uh, I'm not happy about that. So um, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna work on it. I wanted to paint, I wanted to paint the border into white, like what I've done to our uh, some of our rooms. So I'm gonna work on that one again the next time. So here you go, guys. Totally done. I'm so happy about it. And thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will, uh, I will show you another video again. I will show you when I get done with this borders if I paint it into white, uh, to, into white. So thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again in my next video, and I really, really appreciate of watching of of uh, you guys watching my video. Thank you so much. Bye. Mwah.